I've been having contractions. I'm not trying to have a baby at home or in the car. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so it is 4.34 on August 23rd in the a.m. and I've been having contractions. Having contractions since yesterday, and um, and now they're getting really close together. So we're gonna go, and I'm in a lot of pain. And there's Liam. Hello. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure why it's so blurry, but I've been having contractions going on for what the last like. No, like what's what's what are they apart? Two minutes now? It's been like three, two and a half minutes between each one. So they told us to wait two hours, but like I can't. And they told us, I think, because COVID and like Liam won't be able to go in with me until I'm like four centimeters dilated or something. But, but we live like, here's another one. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So yeah. Long story short, I want to an epidural. Okay. <sighs> Done. Okay. So we're going now. Um. Yeah. We're not waiting any longer. We live like 25 minutes away. So I'm not trying to have a baby at home or in the car. So yeah. If I have to wait a little bit longer without Liam, so be it. I just would rather be safe. We'll see where this leads us and how far along I am and how dilated and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're going into the hospital now. Not really sure where to go, but we're going. <laughs> okay, so we are in our own room now. I'm about four centimeters dilated. And we're gonna be meeting a little boy or girl today. So, I don't know, what's the next step? Oh, I, I want an epidural, but we had to wait an hour, so I think there's 20 minutes left in that hour. So hopefully within 20 minutes I'll have an epidural, because um, the contractions hurt and this gas doesn't do anything. So, we'll see, oh, there's a kick. We'll see what we'll, what we'll have. Traction's coming. So I was able to get the epidural in, thank God. At first I was feeling it still, but then it kicked in and I don't feel my contractions at all. So would highly recommend. <laughs> They're now about to check how dilated I am. I was like three or four centimeters. So they're gonna see, and then they're also gonna see if my water is broke like all the way through and if it's not then they're gonna break it all the way through. So what day is it today, Daniela? It is August the 23rd and it is currently 10 12 a.m. <laughs> it is let's see 16 degrees and mostly cloudy outside. 
so the baby can bring some sunshine to the day. But the time's gone by like really quickly, and ever since I had my epidural, it's all good. I don't feel the contractions at all. No. You want to show them? Yeah, she's actually having one again right now. Yeah, it's starting to go down, but it's basically this, like this number here basically just says what the contraction is. That's the heart rate of the baby. So yeah, so. And that made it a lot better. I'm six centimeters dilated currently. And she said that my contractions have gotten quicker so since after she broke my water. Because they were like partially broke and then she broke them all the way. Anyways, yeah. So this might be coming very quick. And uh, I'm so excited to see if it's a boy or a girl. How are you feeling? Soon to be daddy? Patiently. Yeah. You enjoying the snacks I brought? What snack? <laughs> Last time, do you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl? I still think girl. I still think boy. Wait, what time do you think they'll be born? It's ten, like fifteen now. Twelve thirty, one o'clock. Really? No, no, no. I'll say that's when you be ten seven, maybe something two, two thirty. I think three. I think 301. I know. We'll see. Okay, so it's 145. I just got checked again and I'm now between kind of like 8 and 9 centimeters dilated, but they said 8. So now we have to wait another 4 hours, which could lead us, I think, to like 745 or something like that. Um, but if the baby's heart rate so starts to drop, then I can start pushing earlier. But right now we're kind of just letting baby do its thing and work its way down. So that's where we are right now, but this is going to be a long day. Also, I threw up like three times. I think that's the downfall of the epidural, but I'd still rather that than the contractions. So would still recommend the epidural. <laughs> Can you mute, please? I, yeah, I'm here. Uh, what? Can you guys mute, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, he was okay. Honey. Mom, can you mute yourself, please? Sorry. <laughs> I can still hear someone. <laughs> Go on, Ben, mother. We got this. Go on. Go on, even harder for you. Take a breath. Out again. Go on. It's just like, I feel like you're gonna pop a blood vessel, you know? <laughs> At the moment, you're using quite a lot of your energy in your face. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> My push is like shitty. Yeah, it's yeah. not coming down much. Okay. But I think it's just trying to see where you're pushing. My mom looks so yeah. Actually, everyone looks great. <laughs> <laughs> <Obviously, yeah. laughs> you're doing really well. I have. Well done. That's <gasps> again, Daniela. Go on. <laughs> you guys getting a good view? <sighs> That's better. Bit more if you can, bit more. You're okay. And again. Oh, that's okay, come on. You're okay. Come on. Your baby knows you're breathing. 
vacuum. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and tell the doctors where we're up to a pain. down a little bit but then retracts quite quickly so we're just assessing the whole situation just breathe <laughs> go on darling you can do this We expect that, but obviously there comes a point where you're going to start getting tired, and there's going to become a point where babies start getting tired. Yeah, I feel well. a lot of pain right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Well done. Am I right to examine you to see exactly what position this little one's in? What I'm thinking, okay, perfectly honest with you. Early warning signs are starting to see that baby's getting a bit tired. I'm examining you. I think little ones looking this way. Okay. Ideally, you want them looking that way. With no matter how hard you're pushing. There's not much movement of baby's head down. What is coming down is a little bit of swelling on baby's head where they've been squished in that birth canal, which is a perfectly normal response. But I think we've given it enough time to see some descent now, which is made me think that we should, we should probably give you a bit of a hand. That would mean with four steps. Okay. okay. Given that the position that baby's in this way, it would mean trying to turn the one into the optimal position as well. The chance then of going to cesarean section. But hey, there is absolutely nothing you could have done. This little one, little girl, little boy, little diva, little naughty one. That's the position that they brought themselves down into that birth canal, okay? And say, with the pushing that you've done now for the best part of an hour, we try and like to get that rotation around. But as I say, that head's just staying there, okay? This is not being the bearer of bad news. Yeah. You've done absolutely fantastically. Yeah, absolutely you. superstar. And you've done this all yourself. You've done this all yourself. With a great team around you, obviously. <laughs> but you've done fantastically well. Thank you. Okay. And I'll come back in with some paperwork. Okay, what's your little content for then? Okay, thank Please. you. I just 
what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day All I need and I'll be alright 